Second problem that reads, a plastic sphere of radius r floats almost fully submerged in a liquid as shown in this figure. Density of a liquid is rho. Acceleration of free fall of gravity is g. Find the force exerted by the liquid on the lower half of the sphere, excluding contribution of the atmospheric pressure. So this is this plastic sphere is just submerged. So uh, since we need to uh, talk about the liquid pressure force on the lower half, so let's consider the lower half of it. So I haven't drawn the first uh, upper half. So this depth of this diameter uh, or circular part is going to be uh, h, which is going to be corresponding to the radius uh, of this sphere because it, it was just touching the boundary. Now, if we talk about this, uh, the buoyancy force on it, the buoyancy force is going to be basically the pressure difference or pressure force difference. So there will be pressure force acting on this uh, curved surface and that collective value will be up vertically upward. And let's call that as F2 and this F2 force we need to find out. And uh, on this surface, you'll find the pressure force is going to be uh, vertically down and let's call it to be F1. Now on this circular surface, all the pressure force is going to be acting vertically down, whereas on the curved surface, they will be perpendicular to the surface. So resultant will be vertically up for the um, curved surface and vertically down for the uh, this flat surface. Now these two um, forces resultant is the buoyancy force. So we know the buoyant force is equal to net liquid pressure force. And from here we can write the buoyancy force is going to be equal to F2, mm, okay, we need to check this. Yeah, so this buoyancy force is going to be equal to the resultant of these two forces. And since buoyancy is written as vertically upward, so resultant force will be upward as F2 minus F1. So that's F2 minus F1. Now we are interested in F2. So F2 is going to be the buoyancy force plus F1. We know the buoyancy force is equal to the volume sum as uh, this displaced. So volume displaced is going to be 2 by 3 pi r cube. That means the volume of this hemisphere into density of liquid. Liquid density is rho into gravity. So that's a buoyancy. And how much the F1 is going to be? F1 is the pressure force um, on the flat surface. So it's going to be the pressure at that location and area. Then you'll find pressure at all like, locations on this flat surface is going to be like rho gh if we exclude the atmospheric pressure. And the area is going to be A, which is basically pi r square. So F1 is pi r cube rho g. Now we need to find F2. We can put these values of Fb and F1 on this expression. So F2 comes out to be 2 by 3 pi r cube rho g plus uh, this F1, which is pi r cube rho g. When you combine together, you'll find it as a 5 by 3 pi r cube rho g. So that is the force exerted by the liquid on the lower half of the sphere if we exclude the atmospheric pressure. So that's our final expression for the answer. Thank you.